In this video, we're going to talk about how can you spy on your competitor's Facebook ad strategy. It's really simple and I'll show you all the steps. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this video. All right, so let's jump into this. There are a couple of things I want to show you uh, when you want to keep an eye on your competition's Facebook ad strategy. So the first tool I want to show you on Google search for Facebook ads library. Not many people know, but Facebook ads library has every page on Facebook that's running ads on Facebook and also Instagram. You can see their ads and everything. So this is what the interface looks like. Uh, for search ads, let's say I wanna do United States, you can pick other countries depending on your location. Ad category, let's go with all. And search by keyword or advertiser. This is where whoever your competition is, and maybe make a list of five, top five or top 10, uh, and then put their name here. For example, let's say I wanna put Dell because I want to see what ads they're running, what strategy they're using and other things. So here is what uh, all the results. You can see in one uh, instance all the ads that they're running. All right, so on the top it says uh, 61 ad campaigns or ads they're running launched uh, September 2023. Now, if you click on filters, you can uh, filter these ads by languages. Sometimes I filter by Facebook and Instagram because I want to see what different ads they're running. But recently, I'm seeing people or advertisers are running same ad campaign on both platforms, uh, which is fine. But you can filter by the platforms here. Let's go back. The other thing right away I noticed, and I'm seeing this across the board, so look at this, vertical video, vertical video, vertical video, vertical video. All these videos that I'm seeing, they are vertical videos. And by the way, I started seeing this trend in the beginning of 2023 where advertisers were using TikTok style vertical videos for Facebook ads. And sometimes they would post something on TikTok and based on how it performs organically, like if it does well, they'll run that creative, that video as a Facebook ad. So I think these guys are doing the same thing. That's the first note I would uh, take. The other thing you can uh, do is, if I go back up, you can click here. It looks like they're running like a product specific ad. So this is the XP13 ad. Uh, here is another XP13 plus. So you can tell which product they're promoting, which services they're promoting. Now, other cool thing is, if you click on see ad detail so for any of these ads, it's gonna show you more uh, ad details for that creative. You can see what copy they're using, simple copy hashtags. It's running on Facebook and Instagram. And almost always I play this video and let me make sure I have the audio turned on so you might be able to hear this. Let me play this. So it's an 18 second video. And it looks really, yeah, it looks like a TikTok or a vertical video, which is like a reel too. Nice. And I don't know if you're able to hear the audio or not, uh, because I'm recording this video. But see how you can see which platforms they're running at, which products they're promoting, what type of creative you're, they're using. And across the board, I'm seeing this vertical advertisers being obsessed with these vertical videos, TikTok style videos. So if I, here's another one, click here. Look at this, so XPS 15. And here is their video, let me play the video. It looks like and they may have launched this on TikTok first and it performed well and then they downloaded that and uploaded it to Facebook Ads Manager. <laughs> they could have done that. All right, the other cool thing is you can also, you can see their ad, that's number one. You can also see the landing page. So if you click on Shop Now, it's gonna take you off of Facebook to their landing page and this is where you can study the landing page and obviously Dell is a huge brand but it doesn't matter if you your competition is next door local business just put their name in there and you'll see all of their ads as well so I can see their landing pages the headline you can study the copy on their landing pages as well so everything about their landing page ad campaign you can easily find out using Facebook ads library now the other thing, which is really interesting, uh, so that Facebook ad library is the first tool I wanna show you. The second thing I wanna show you is actually the Facebook platform itself. 
So you can also get some ideas about who they are targeting, what type of targeting they're using inside their ads manager. You can get some ideas about that. What I would do is whoever your, your competition is, go sign up for their email list, spend time on their landing pages, like their Facebook page, because what will happen is you will start seeing some of the ads from them uh, in your Facebook news feed. So for example, here's, for some reason I'm seeing Capital One Shopping. Uh, because I've been looking for new iPhones recently maybe that's why but here's the trick when you see an ad from your competition which if they're running ads and you spend time on their email list on their website uh, on their pages interact engage with them and then you'll start seeing some of their ads especially if they're retargeting you click on this so for any ad that you see in your newsfeed click on these three dots and then why am I seeing this ad because you can kind of get some ideas about their targeting. Who are they targeting for this advertisers, uh, for this ad campaign? So here are different factors, the advertiser choices or your activity, you can see both. If I click on advertiser choices, so it looks like they are running, it's a broad campaign. And sometimes depending on what they have picked, it, you can see some really interesting things. You can see what interests they're, they're, they're using, things like that. So it looks like these, are, these guys are doing uh, broad targeting, 18, uh, and then also location United States. Uh, and also what is my activity that's contributing to me seeing this ad? So if I click here, I can see I, I'm interested in ads about visual arts, marketing, books, here you go, different products. Um, uh, so my these are my activities on meta platforms that's contributing to me seeing those ads. Now, I can go back and let's say if I don't want to see ads from this advertiser, I can hide and it will just go away. Let me find another ad and we'll see how they are targeting. Another trend I'm seeing is, there are two trends I'm seeing. One trend is the vertical, the use of vertical videos, which I saw. The other is a lot of people are testing and using broad targeting in their Facebook ads. So for this spectrum business, why am I seeing this ad? And these are probably also targeting advertiser choices. They're probably also, look at this, so they're targeting everyone who is, uh, their age is 21, and then location set to United States. And also my activities, so here you go. This is why am I seeing based on my location. So a lot of advertisers now are testing broad targeting with Facebook, AI, and also what happened with the iOS 14 and Apple, I think the broad target, by the way, if you want me to create a detailed video about targeting options on Facebook ads, broad targeting versus specific, I'm also seeing broad targeting work really, really well on Facebook. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see uh, me create some content about the targeting, creating ads, uh, I can do that. Here is another one, let's uh, take that example. Why am I seeing this ad? advertiser choices oh look at this so it's because i've shown interest in wordpress that's one of the platforms i can, i use for my website and also i search i'm connected to a lot of people with that so you can see which interest your target audience or your competition is targeting so you can get ideas a lot of ideas about their facebook ads so any questions about spying on your competition for their Facebook ads or in general Facebook ads let me know in the comments below before you go like and share this video so more people can see this and now I'll see you in this next video about Facebook ads by the way I'll in this video I'll show you how you can generate leads for a local business when you don't have like the e-commerce website set up you can still generate leads so let's watch that video together bye for now